We recently spoke about the Badger 2040, a e-ink hackable badge powered by a Pi 2040. But what happens if you want color, you want bright backlight, you want refresh rates that aren't the slowest thing on earth? Well, don't worry, the same people that made the Badger have you covered with the Tufty. So this right here is a programmable LCD badge, essentially, just like the e-ink badger, but using a color LCD, which obviously has some advantages in terms of it's got color, it's got a refresh rate that actually feels smooth, uh, and obviously it has a backlight as well, so it will shine in the darkness. But there's also some downside, namely the fact that it requires power at all times to operate compared to the e-ink screen that will keep its previous state on the whole time. Nonetheless, let's have a look at this and let's see what fun things we can do with uh, another hackable badge option. I really like this. Let's check it out. So here is the badge itself, the Tufty 2040. And yeah, like I said, it needs permanent power to do anything. As soon as I remove the power, obviously the screen goes dark. It's a normal LCD screen, so it needs power. It does also need more power, unfortunately, than the Badger e-ink, but you can still run it off three AAA batteries, which is what is in here. Um, yeah, it, it works perfectly fine. But anyway, let's have a look at the device itself. Do still have the screen protector on, so let's get that off. And you can see <laughs> fingerprints already, I love that. But we have quite a nice little screen here. It's a 2.4 inch uh, IPS LCD display with a resolution of 320 by 240. So plenty of screen real estate there. The, the machine itself is powered by the same uh, Raspberry Pi 2040 that we found in the Badger. But uh, yeah, you've got a slight different setup here. We do have a phototransistor here for sensing light. Uh, that is so that you can control the backlight and save yourself some battery. Makes a lot of sense. I'm really glad that that was included. So, you know, if you are running this all day, you can have it adjust its backlight and it's going to last longer, obviously. You've also got five programmable buttons around the front, A, B, C, up and down. We've also then around the back here got the boot button and a dedicated power on and off button. Again, so you can easily turn this on and off to save battery. Other than that, we have a USB-C port for either power or data transfer. Uh, we have a dedicated power socket here as well. I think this is a, a JSTP PH connector, according to the website, uh, and it seems to kind of fit quite generic power supplies. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is cool. Let's have a look at some of the things we can run on it. But first, I need to 3D print a case for this because uh, again, I'm worried that this will get damaged more so that LCD um, being kind of just exposed like that. So let's get a case printed and let's get it put together. I will put a link down below for the case. Unfortunately, the recording of the case being printed corrupted, so we haven't got that. But what we do have here is a front plate, a back plate, and then we have this extra section that goes on the back, which actually then fits in our kind of power supply quite nicely and also doubles up as a stand. So you could actually use this as a small screen display on your desk or something else, which is pretty cool. Let's get this all put together and yeah, then let's check out the software. So we're all cased up and looking much safer. Um, I quite like this design because yes, it does sit on your desk quite nicely and would act like a little digital clock or any kind of information screen that you want really. It's kind of cool. USB-C is still exposed. And you can still kind of easily get the battery pack in and out as you need, and obviously turn it on and off as well. Generally, very impressed with this. So thank you very much to the person that made this design. It will be down below. Cool. Okay, well, let's get it plugged into the computer and let's see what we can do. All right, so we are all set up. We are plugged in over here with the badge and it is all kind of set up ready to go. This kind of works exactly the same way as with the Badger. It's got the same microprocessor in it. It does very similar things, it's just you have access to a nice 
bright LCD screen. So again, over on the website for this, there's a really great getting started kind of tutorial that gives you all the information that you need. It tells you about the different ways that you can power it, the different kind of accessories. If you bought the accessory kit officially, you get some Velcro and you can stick it to the back and that sort of thing. But we have our nicely 3D printed case, so it doesn't matter so much. Also, of course, you could get a lithium battery instead. That would also work much more compact, more power would last longer. That's for sure. So, you know, lots of options. And essentially, again, this uses MicroPython. So you can kind of download all the information that you need. And there's a demo wheel on here that kind of gives you the different kind of things that you can do out of the box. And uh, we are then, of course, using, is it Thony? I don't know how to pronounce it, but the same software that we used previously. And uh, it kind of gives you some step by steps on how you can go about doing like the light sensor, writing text on the screen and all those sorts of things pretty simply. So if we head over into this, you can kind of, we can run up our main and you can see it now moving the colors around and basically you've got lots of different options that you can kind of try out. So there's this one. Oh, didn't do so well. Uh, Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you've got to dodge the... <laughs> oh, God. Right. So there's there's that. That's a thing. Um, I don't think you can exit out. So if we just uh, rerun it, it'll take us back to the main page. Um, there's the button tests, which just going to tell you which button you've pressed, which is useful. Don't get me wrong. It's a very useful thing to have. You go back. Um, and then probably the things that people are most likely to use this for is a badge. So you have this kind of nice bright pride badge with just basic information on it. I quite like that. Um, and obviously on the code side, you have all the information on how this is drawn and, and how this looks. So you can take this and edit it however you fancy. And then uh, we've also got the retro badge, which I quite like. Um, oh, doesn't seem to have done anything. Let's try that again, shall we? And then we've got the retro badge here. Oh, which gives a uh, memory allocation failure. Interesting. Let's try running it directly. Try running the script directly. There we go, um, which I really like. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is probably something that I'll end up setting up for myself. And then you've got a QR code as well. And I do love a good QR code. You know that. Other options, there's a, if we stop running there's a sketchy sketch which is yep just as you might have thought an etch a sketch kind of clone <laughs> which is very cool it's a fun little thing and then finally there's an example of how to make a a wavy message which is also very cool indeed so there's lots of options uh that you're given kind of out of the box if you like to try and play around with but ultimately it is just micro python you can do as your heart desires which is very 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 cool uh, so i'm going to try and put together a little badge and uh, let's see what that looks like so a little playing later and this is uh, what i've come up with i really like this i think it's very cool we've got the little uh, png here of myself kind of low colors obviously it doesn't support a billion colors because there just isn't the memory for that but it looks very cool i think and you've got the qr code as well and you press the button and it switches to the qr code so you can scan to get links and stuff and i just think this is a really cool badge there is also loads of other examples on the github for different things like using it as a clock uh, and loads of other stuff that you could do plus of course whatever you actually want yourself it is essentially just a microcontroller attached to a little LCD and I love it and this case works incredibly well for this purpose and again it can sit on the desk really quite easily I love it so that's where we're going to leave today's video a bit of a shorter one today just kind of playing around with a few other bits that I picked up when I went Raspberry Pi shopping but this is really cool I think if you're looking for a small compact 
bright, colorful screen uh, that's got a microcontroller whacked on the back of it so you can do stuff with it. This is the way to go. I absolutely love this. Uh, will I use it as a conference badge? I'm not sure, to be honest. I still prefer the e-ink just because the fact that even when it runs out of power, it still works as a badge. But nonetheless, this is still very, very cool. So yeah, we're going to leave that video here for today. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again for another video very, very soon. Bye for now.